in that general area. When they built the track, they knew they needed a care center. The building front was the care center. They staffed that with doctors, nurses, and caregivers out of Birmingham, both for the April and the October race. Now, if there's anybody on the properties, they got a little over 3,000 acres here now where they're parking and camping during the next week. <laughs> In the field of the fans, if they all get sick and get an accident, if they're able to take the race, they come over here and get treated free of charge. Now, if they come over and the dog says, this one party needs to go to Birmingham. <laughs> well, they got a helicopter set now, they're able to take them to Birmingham. Well, that's all well and good. The only thing about it, these outside facilities didn't go along with that free service. <laughs> when they got the fans, got to the final destination, found out going to pay the bill. That was a shock when they got to that part of here. We're going to go by the main um, area in the medical center. We're going to go main the main garage up there. They got a total of 62 bays over there where they're working on the horse. They went back there to one front. Now, they're working on a car in there and they can't get that thing to run just right. They finally make a decision. The best thing to do is change the motor out. <laughs> Let's send the tow motor out to the truck out there and pick up a new motor and bring it in. Would you believe in about 45 minutes and now the thing changed out ready to go? <laughs> I came over and told us I can't even get a decent oil change in 45 minutes. <laughs> the next building up there now, of course, uh, this is a, uh, like I said, this, they got a total of 16 bays here where they're working on cars. Now, the next building up there, the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company will come in as early as Monday of the race week. They'll bring in the truck load of tires. Well, they'll go ahead and mount the tires out there and balance them and get them ready. Well, most people think they sell those tires to the car owners. Well, that's not quite true. What they do, they lease it to them for that week. <laughs> and when the week, week's over, they'll have to turn those tires back in. Good year, then. They'll look them over, determine if they can improve their quality. Then they'll set them up in South Carolina. They got to sell them up there and cut some of them small bits and use them for fuel to generate electricity. They really don't waste anything around here. You see, they drive this building right here with the two big blue doors. During the race week, Goodyear then, they'll come in and bring a truck on the tires back there. They'll go ahead and buy the tires, balance them, and get them ready. But most people think they sell those tires to the car owners. Well, that's not quite true. What they do, they lease it to them for that week. When the week's over, they'll have to turn those tires back in. You see the tall tower over there, they call that skunk the scoring tower. That tower is 148 feet tall and it has 7,449 books. <laughs> During the race going on at the top, they'll give you the left number of the zone. To the right of 1 through 10, they'll give you the car number that's in that position on the track at that time. Below the 10, they pick up with 11 through 43 on the rotary, and they'll give you the car number there as well. The matter of energy it takes to operate that would actually take care of five three bedroom homes for the same period of time. They've been heavy on energy. <laughs> now, in order to make sure that each driver has an equal chance to win the race, they're required to get their fuel to this station here. Now that is the racing fuel. You know, we allowed them to bring their own fuel. You know, you couldn't trust one of them. <laughs> Every one of them, but everything they could do it from uh, whatever they could come up with. Is any of y'all any uh, familiar with Davy Allison? Well, anyway, back in 1993, he and Mr. Farmer came in here. 